Hey guys, so I am doing a tutorial on a silk press. What I just showed you was the Alphagy Curlific Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. And you want to thoroughly saturate the hair with the conditioner and then you want to detangle with a large detangle comb. So you want to comb through the entire head, make sure you have no tangles in the hair. Try to start from the ends of the hair and then follow to the root. Now I am combing through to make sure I have combed through all tangles in the hair. That was the hair that came out the shedding from the combing. And she had braids prior to coming to get the silk press, so she would have a little bit more shedding than normal. I will now section the hair for the roller set. I do roller set all of my silk presses and I am now going to show you guys the rollers and the clip clips that I will be using. Okay, so now I am sectioning the hair for my roller set and I use this sectioning for all of my roller sets which is the basic roller set that you would learn um, in beauty school um, and it works well for all of my roller sets actually You want to section the hair that is about the same width of the roller. That is the Denman brush. That brush is amazing. I do not know what I would do without it on my natural hair. It really helps detangle the hair and get it smoother for the rollers. You can get the Denman brush from Sally's and it retails for about $13 to $15 and yes that is expensive for a brush but trust me it is a great investment and it will last you a while. Okay guys so I just want to walk you through this roller set. Basically I'm sure as you can see the hair is not completely smooth over the roller which it's not really going to be the majority of the time with natural hair but what you need to do is try your best to get as much hair on that roller and smooth it as much as you can I've now began using a different size roller the purple roller is right under the gray roller when it comes to magnetic rollers and as you go down some most of the time the hair will be a little bit shorter so the purple rollers work pretty good okay so i was trying to put in a purple roller but i saw that that wasn't going to work so i used a red roller which is a little smaller than the purple so basically guys it doesn't it doesn't really matter to me as far as the rollers um, the sizing so much because I am just trying to get all of the hair on the roller now the bigger the roller the faster the drying time 
Okay, so moving to the other side. Now, with this parting, you're going to start at the, right where the crown is and then go down to the ear. And then that's going to give you your next section. You most of the time will have two to three rollers on this section. Try at least three because the more rollers you have, the faster the drying time as well. On the next section you will have about two to three rollers I usually do two if I can get in the bigger rollers just try to make it as tight as possible and just make sure that you get all of the hair on that roller if you have to leave some out as far as her edges um, or just some some hairs are shorter than others and you have to leave them out that is fine all right guys so we're moving over to the next side the last side and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on the other side of the mohawk I call um, the first section that we did from the front of the hair to the nape of the neck, the mohawk. And now we're doing this next side and we're gonna do it basically like we did the other side exactly. Or if you wanna put more rollers, if you can put more rollers on this side, that's fine. Just remember the key is not for it to look great, but for you to just get as much hair as possible on the roller. And after you finish roller setting, just kind of look around and make sure that all of the rollers are tight and that they won't be falling out while she's under the hair dryer. And now the hair dryer. Now her hair is completely dry. And you want to make sure that the hair is at least 90% dry. I like to make sure that my client's hair is dry. If I have to take some rollers out, you know, while they're under the dryer, some that are dry and because some are not, then I'll do that as well. And that helps with the drying time also. But just make sure that it's dry before doing that because I, I promise you guys, this is a very essential key in the silk press the roller set, the drying time. All right guys, so I'm going to comb through with the big comb. And I'm gonna section off because I am getting ready to blow dry the hair as straight as I possibly can, but on a low heating setting. And I am using the Paul Mitchell round brush, which is pretty amazing when it comes to blow drying the hair straight. Um, that brush is really good. 
I get it from Armstrong McCall, which is the professional beauty supply store, but um, I'm sure you could find it um, probably at Am on Amazon. I know Sally's does not have it. So you want to blow dry the hair as straight as you possibly can. And you won't have to do this on every client, but my client here um, hasn't been back for a couple of months and she had braids. So she is going to have to train, um, re, you know, ret retrain her hair a little bit. Uh, sometimes when the hair is trained for the silk press, you don't have to blow dry as much after the roller set, but sometimes you do. It just really depends on, you know, the client, uh, how much they come back, how many times they, you know, get it done. And, um, I know you guys are probably wondering, like, why is she blow drying the hair and she took all that time roller setting and putting it in the dryer? Well, it's because the blow dry heat is so much different from the hair dryer. So that direct heat with the blow dryer on wet hair is an automatic frizz, frizz, frizz alert. So if you want your silk press to last, my recommendation is to get under the hair dryer, not blow dry wet hair. Now I will get my fan, and this is just a regular fan that I got, I believe from Target, that blows out cool air. And because there has been heat, so much heat on the hair, I want to close that cuticle as much as I possibly can. So I am getting that cool fan and just going all over the hair. I am, I am closing that cuticle and that also helps with frizz. Now I am going to put a dime size amount of the Chi Keratin Silk Infusion all throughout the hair. A dime size, a little bit over, usually works for all the cl my clients. If you use more than that, it's usually just too much, it's too oily. And then I'm going to comb it through. Make sure it all gets on there pretty good. And now I'm using the Dax oil. I mean, I just get a very small amount of that, and that is just for the edges. A little goes a long way. Don't use too much at all. And then I'm going to get my small flat iron, and I am going to grab those edges only. actual flat iron finally and I section off about one inch sections and I spray the silk elements heat protected on first and then the design essentials purple spritz spray and I start at the root of the hair when I begin the flat ironing as close as possible without burning the client's scalp. And I go about 
usually about once down and then I go um, I go back with the comb the comb comb over so you will proceed throughout the hair with the one inch sections and the products and you want to make sure every bit of the hair has been straightened all the way through now some heads will need either smaller sections or I'm not going to say bigger sections because I tend to not really want to go over a one inch parting but depending on how thick the hair is you might have to do half inch part partings or even an eighth of an inch sometimes my sister my big sister for example she has the thickest hair like just her hair is super thick and I have to do one eighth of an inch to half an inch partings on her hair or all of it will not be straight just no way so just do it to the you know to the liking of the hair of the client the thickness and as far as temperature I start at about 400 and I do not go over 420 um, it, and again that depends on the hair and the thickness as well you will know if you start at 400 you will know if you need to go higher or not it will be very easy to tell okay guys so for the next few minutes you will be seeing me flat iron the entire head
Okay guys, so we are on the last section for flat ironing. And also what I want to mention, which I should have mentioned earlier, was when I get down to the end of the hair, I tend to tighten up on my handle just a little bit harder to make sure those ends are getting really straight. And now what I'm doing is I'm combing through the two sections that I did not just touch. Because you want to make sure that the hair is not still hot from the flat iron before combing through because that also creates frizz. So that section that I just finished flat ironing, I am not going to comb through right now. Okay, now I am going to do the trimming. You want to trim the ends only if needed. Most of the time when a client has waited to come back for the silk press, the ends will need to be trimmed. And just, you know, the bare minimum just getting those splits those split ends out because if not your silk press will not look right with bad ends guys so I am now going to section the hair off crown to ear and this is where I start the curling of the hair with the flat iron and I'm going to do bigger sections than what I did to initially flat iron the hair because now we're only going to be curling 
the hair. Okay, so now what I'm doing is checking the ends just in case I missed any stragglies. And if I did, I will trim them. But what I'm doing is in larger sections, I am just curling with the flat iron the hair. I'm twisting it around the flat iron and smoothing down. Sections are usually about two to three inches wide. And I'm going to go through the entire head doing the same curling.
right guys so I am on the last section for curling and now I am going to just get my fingers and kind of comb through the hair but right now I'm just showing you the curls those pretty curls but now I'm just getting my fingers and kind of combing through getting through those curls okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the hair I like to use the large detangle comb instead of a paddle brush or smaller comb because that will comb a lot of the curls out in the volume. So we're going to make sure their hair is wrapped up pretty good. If you need your client's help holding their hair, definitely ask them. But now we are going to saran wrap the hair all the way around. So it is thoroughly covered with saran wrap. Now the hair dryer for about five minutes and she's done and we're going to take off the saran wrap and then comb down. Okay guys, so that is the silk press. Look at the volume. It is amazing. This will last about two to three weeks, just depending on her preference, as long as the hair is not wet. And you are wrapping it at night, you will be fine. And after each wrap, you'll like it more and more. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you.